Back on the Morning Brew with friends with Jeff from Endorphin Power Company. It's good to see you. Thanks for having me. And you guys are having a big show coming up on what December 11th at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. We are. That's going to be huge. I hope so. Yeah, really. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the show and tell us about Endorphin Power Company because I think people hear Power Company and they, and they think, think Power Company. Right. Yeah. So if you're if you're in the field of working with homeless or people dealing with substance abuse and alcoholism, we're really well known. But if not, we can be a uh, I don't know. A hideout for mobsters because people don't really know who we are and what we do. But uh, right. we're, we're actually a transitional living facility with a community center on our campus located in the International District. So we provide single occupancy living, transitional living for people, um, you know, who have experienced homelessness due to substance abuse or alcoholism, kind of getting a foundation back in their life. Um, located at 509 Cardenas Southeast, and we have this music benefit, which is our first one coming up on Is your Friday. first one ever? Uh, yeah, we, normally we do a comedy benefit every year. Okay. We're, in our, we're in our third year of that, but we decided to, to incorporate some music into it too. And you guys got some great musicians for this thing. You landed, you bring in some people from LA. Yes, yes, North, Northern California too. A couple of uh, a couple of well-known musicians. We got Scott Kelly and Bruce Lamont coming Scott in. Scott right? Kelly is actually really well-known mm -hmm. in the work of his uh, progressive heavy metal band. They started in the 80s are called neurosis very I very popular i think i have a cassette by them you, somewhere you might you day. might and so this is a real this is completely the opposite of what he does in that band oh really and so this is going to be uh acoustic and with bruce lamont on sax he plays in a band called yakuza so it'll be acoustic guitar and a saxophonist doing uh, some really cool stuff very cool and a chance for them to break out and do something that's completely different for them they're I'm excited sure. to be here just for that reason that's cool very cool how'd you guys land them you know what? A friend of a friend. Ah, uh, I'm a musician, excellent. and so I hang out with musicians, and my buddy's friends with Scott, and they said Scott's looking to come through, and he's not really wanting to play a bar and compete with that crowd right. because of the type of music he's playing. And so I said, hey, why don't we put it on ourselves? That sounds like a plan. So the uh, so you guys, how, I know that there's been a big push lately from the city to help the homeless. Mm -hmm. Are you guys beneficiaries of some of that help? Are you guys We're more of a resource in that area. Uh, we, don't, we don't get any money from any governmental sources, but uh, we're a great resource. So if somebody needs something and they don't know where to find it uh, in the area that we work with, mm -hmm. uh, they can give us a call and I'm really never more than one person away. Oh, very cool. So. And you know, I know that there's been a, a large discussion about the homeless population in Albuquerque kind of growing and having some issues. Mm -hmm. Are you, is that more than just anecdotal? Is that really something you guys are seeing on your end it, too? It, that it, it's, it's, very, you know? it's, it's very real. It's very yeah. real. I mean, all you need to do is drive around town and you can see the problem that we're dealing with. And it's not really just, you know, isolated in Albuquerque. It's everywhere. I mean, right. this is a... This you guys help a, statewide too, right? We do what we can statewide. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I mean, we've taken people from all over the state. We've had people from, you know, each coast and we're we've got people from everywhere yeah what's the what are the most common things you guys see what are the most common issues I know that Albuquerque they keep saying that we have issues with some of the harder drugs coming into Albuquerque mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or if it's still mainly the traditional I hate to say traditional stuff but right. well it's, it's everything I mean everybody's got their struggles I mean if yeah. you're if you're dealing with addictions it could be you know pills alcohol it could be marijuana it could I mean there's People, you know, have issues with gambling, all kinds of stuff. But for mm -hmm. us, um, you're always going to see the alcohol, the opiates, the meth, and, mm. and the cocaine. And so that's kind of like the the core three or four or five things that we deal with on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. um, but there's lots of other things out there people are struggling with that, you know, can actually cause them to be homeless. Right, right. And in your, so what kinds of treatments and options do you guys offer for... Uh, so we're housing people. and we offer uh, case management. We refer out for a lot of treatment, um, but our program's a little unique. Uh, we offer a lot of services to the community itself through our community center. So part of our program is exercise. People, We encourage people to exercise for 30 minutes a day. So we, mm. we do things like yoga four or five times a week. We have mm. acupuncture, we have uh, aromatherapy, we have all kinds of holistic stuff, both Eastern and Western philosophies incorporated. Sounds like a spa. Yeah, yeah. Some ways I should move in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes I think that we, right. we do a lot of stuff and we do a lot of good for people, so it's it's a great thing to be a part of. Right. Well, the uh, and the big show is December 11th at National Hispanic Cultural Center, and we, we have a video I think here of a couple of the guys. If we can Maybe. cue that up, there we go. This is what they look like playing. That's actually them doing a cover of Neil Young, a Neil Young song. Oh, really? This is like a little bit like Harvest Moon, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. called Cortez the Killer. Oh, of course. Yeah. This should be a fun show, actually. 
the uh, of course for those of us that know Neurosis from back in the day, right. this would be huge to see him live doing something that's not that, you know? Right. Those guys never get a chance to really show their musical chops outside of the uh, heavy metal yes. venue. You yes, know? very much so. And you forget that they're a lot of them are really classically trained musicians who can just rock out in so many ways, Some right? Some of the best musicians around today are playing the heavier stuff. It's just that people don't really know it. Right, right. And so you're a therapist too, am I right? I'm a therapist, yes. And what, what kinds of people do you work with as a therapist on your own? Obviously, I work with people dealing with addictions and alcoholism. I work with couples, individuals, adolescents, adults. Uh, kind Everyone. Of, kind of the full spectrum, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Um, and then it's endorphinpowercompany.com. Com or is dot org. Dot org. Yeah, and then of course you guys have a Facebook site. Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, you can check us out. Uh, we got some really cool stuff going on. We got some cool stuff going on all the time. If you just go yeah. to our website and check out our calendar, I mean, there's always something going on. That sounds like a plan. Well, we'll see you on December 11th at the Hispanic Cultural Center. And I can't wait to see all these awesome musicians live. Absolutely. Hope Should to be see fun. There. And we're back in a couple of minutes on the Morning Brew with Friends.